in agony pray more luke chapter 22 and verse 44 he prayed more fervently and he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood the text describes jesus last moments with the disciples before he was taken for crucifixion jesus was praying in the garden of gethsemane he wanted the lord to take away the agonizing death he was likely to undergo the disciples knew nothing about it though jesus tried many times to explain them what was to happen Jesus wanted them to pray with him and for him. However, the disciples fell asleep. They did not understand the pain Jesus was about to encounter. They were not so serious about it. Jesus prayed three times to the Father to take away the sorrow, but he preferred for his will to be done. It is hard to pray in times of trouble, but the only best resolve is prayer. God hears us and he will answer us. I remember some years ago when my kids were kindergartners, we had a little girl of their age come and stay with us since her widowed mother was so poor that she was unable to give this child anything. We put her in the local school and got her everything. One fine day she went missing. It was so hard on us since she was too young. We filed a police complaint but I began to pray in such agony. God listened to me. Somebody wooed her for a better life and took her away, but fortunately she ran away from them. She was later found in one of the children's home in the same town. We rescued her and sent her home. The best in such unbearable trauma is seeking God, and God is phenomenally gracious to rescue the girl and save our faces from shame and disgust. It would become a black mark for the ministry. God knows our heart and he honestly answers us. when we desperately call on him in agony pray more amen